So Razer has announced that they are launching a new line of high-performance laptops. What's going on everybody? It's your girl Island Wolf and in this video today we're going to be talking about the three different models of the Razer Book 13 laptops. So there are three different models for the Razer Notebook 13. There's the full HD 60Hz, there's the full HD Touch 60Hz, and the U hd touch 60 hertz laptop okay now before i get into each individual uh specs and everything i'm going to you know give a generalization of what all the laptops will have like the new features that razor has said in the laptop and everything like that so first thing intel evo platform is only in the core i7 models though but the battery lasts up to 14 hours instant wake less than one second to resume power Instant resume, modern standby to connect even when it's asleep, quick recharge 30 minutes for four hours of usage. That's actually pretty decent. Like my laptop, I usually always have it plugged in. I have an HP, like a older HP. I think I got this in like 2017, 2018, maybe 2018 for my birthday. But uh, it'd be acting weird a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. It's weird. Sometimes it takes a long time to charge. It doesn't take too long, but you know, it could be better. It has best in class connectivity with Intel Wi-Fi 6 and Thunderbolt 4. You guys know what Thunderbolt 4 is. It's ports, USB ports and everything. Um, it has vapor chamber cooling, so it allows the onboard processor to ramp up while always staying cool and stable. Your laptop will not overheat yes oh man my old laptop i used to have i had an hp it will overheat all the time man it was just it was bad like <laughs> that thing could cause a fire it was that hot man um it also has windows hello so i don't know if you guys like have it right now i'm pretty sure everybody does but it uses facial recognition or a pin for windows hello because it's fast uh secure a password list to unlock your windows device so for my laptop I have it. I have a pin on my laptop. Remember back in the day when you had a password and you had to remember stuff for your laptop? That, those days are over. Everything's a pin number. So, <laughs> you know, which is good for like quick access, but kind of bad. Cause like, what if you forget your pin number? What if you use the same pin number for everything? Which I don't recommend. Don't ever use the same pin number for everything. Um, but yeah. Um, but this requires specialized hardware, including fingerprint reader illuminated ir sensor or other biometric sensors and capable devices so like i don't know i don't know anything about face recognition because i don't use that like again like nah i i don't i don't really trust it i'm not one of those people that trust that so that's all the special features that would be for each laptop now we're gonna get into the, the specific specs for the laptop so we're gonna start with the razor book 13 full hd 60 hertz okay this is the lowest model right now so the process is 11 gen intel core i5 quad core display is 13.4 inches full hd matte 60 hertz slim side basil up to 178 degree wide view angles i got a whole bunch of notes boys a whole bunch of notes okay i wrote all this down <laughs> the graphics is intel iris xe storage 250 gigabytes I mean, that that's kind of low. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think my laptop might have like a terabyte just on it, like a terabyte or two. It's kind of low. I'm just saying. Um, the memory is eight gigabyte dual channel, and this is fixed. Keyboard per key RGB, powered by Razer Chroma. Anti ghosting. So for the inputs and outputs, there is one USB Type A. Two USB Type C plus power. There's one HDMI 2.0 port. There is one micro SD slot. So this laptop is one thousand one hundred and ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. This is an exclusive Razer.com offer. It comes in Mercury. You can pre-order right now, and it ships November thirtieth. Now I'm not sure when I'm gonna upload this video, so it might already be available. But it ships November thirtieth. So if I upload it before November thirtieth, then you know. You can pre-order it. If not, then you can order already, okay? So that's the lowest model, $1,199 for the lowest model. It's not even i7. It's i5 quad-core quad processor, okay? 
So, yeah, let's get to the next one. The next one, Razer Book 13 Full HD Touch 60 Hertz. This one is a touchscreen. I don't have a touchscreen laptop. Um, probably will never get a touchscreen laptop because I don't see the benefit that much. Um, but let's get into the specs. So the processor is 11 Gen Intel Core i7 Quad Core. Display 13 inch Full HD Matte 60 Hertz. The graphics is Intel Iris Xe. Storage 250 gigabytes, the same as the other one. Um, memory 16 gigabyte dual channel, which is fixed. This one has a little bit more uh, memory than the first one. Uh, keyboard per key RGB powered by Razer Chroma, anti ghosting, import and outports. So it has one USB A, two USB C plus power. It has one HDMI 2.0 slot, one micro SD slot. This bad boy costs $1,599.99. It comes in Mercury. This one was like $400 more than the first one, but it's touch screen, so that's not too bad. I'm not gonna lie, that's, that's not too bad. Now for the last one, this is the one I probably, I like the most, I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> if I'm gonna spend this type of money on stuff, I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go big or go home, you know? The Razer Book 13 UHD Touch 60 Hertz. Processor 11 Gen Intel Core i7 Quad Core. Display 13.4 inches, which is a little bit bigger than the other one. A uh, UHD 60 hertz, slim side bezel, touch display. So this is a touch screen as well. Uh, up to a 780 degree wide viewing angle. Graphics Intel Iris Xe. Uh, storage 512 gigabytes. So it has a lot more storage than the other two. So I like that. Um, the memory 16 gigabyte dual channel fix. Uh, keyboard per key RGB powered by Razer Chroma, anti ghosting, inputs and outputs, USB A times one, two USB C's, one HDMI 2.0, and one micro SD slot. This one costs $1,999.99. So, this is a $2,000 laptop, not even a gaming laptop. This is just a $2,000 laptop. Comes in Mercury, but this one. I like the most because it has more it's bigger than the second one but it has more uh, memory and it has more storage which is the big thing for me I like having if I'm gonna get something I want something that's gonna have a lot of like space on it you know like I'm not gonna buy something that's got a little bit of space and I gotta keep buying a uh, hard drive external hard drives for it if I had to pick one of these laptops I would definitely have to get the UHD uh, touch 60 I'm not a big fan of touch like I said but it's just for the memory and the the storage you know those are two things that really mean the most to me and everything and plus it's a Intel Core i7 quad core processor so that's pretty good but um you know the holidays are coming up and Razer if you'd like to give me a gift I'll gladly take one of these laptops if anybody wants to give me a gift like my boyfriend um I could always use a new laptop I'm just saying, you know, Christmas coming up, you know, people want some new stuff. If you have a, a, a spouse or a significant other, or even like your mom just wants to get you something, be like, hey, there's a Razor Book 13 out there. You know, it's a little expensive, okay? It's a little expensive. But like, I'll love you forever if you got it for me. You know, just hit your mom or your dad with that and they might get it for you. Who knows? Um. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is like the first time I've ever done a video on like a laptop, to be honest. And I had to do a lot of research because I don't know too much about laptops, but they made it pretty easy. Like I'll leave a link to the article and a link to each um, where you could buy each laptop. Uh, they made it really easy. Razor did a good job with their article explaining everything. The, it was great. Um, it was good reading. I like doing research. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, yeah. I really want one of these laptops. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Two thousand dollars, that's that's a lot. You can get a gaming PC for that, right? Like you get a good gaming PC, but I guess if you're on the go, you know, you kinda need a laptop. Anyways, I'm just over here daydreaming about having one of these laptops sit on my desk. Uh if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Uh if you found it informative, leave a like. Let me know if you're gonna get one. Uh, again, you could take this money and get a gaming PC. You could take this money and pay bills. Uh, <laughs> you could take this money and even put a 
towards the down payment on the car. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know, but anyways, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, more videos to come. Uh, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm done talking. I've been talking a lot. I'm out. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.